breadwinning housewife merch is available as of 12 p.m today central so go check it out we're doing a giveaway for a checker or a tote bag on instagram best of luck everyone thank you so much in advance love you guys okay bye let's get started with the video okay Good morning guys, I'm making breakfast. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. I'm drinking water, I'm making a sauerkraut bacon hash. New recipe. It is Tuesday, yesterday I filmed an unedited vlog in my life. Sorry, this is so loud. And we're filming another week in my life vlog. This week isn't too crazy. I have some appointments and things, and just, you know, obviously the normal work stuff, but nothing too crazy. Dom is still here. Um, we keep extending her trip, so I don't know. If she'll ever leave at this point, which hopefully she won't. Sauerkraut, bacon hash, cooking the bacon. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so here's my breakfast. A little sauerkraut bacon hash. It smells really good in my house at least. So we have the heck going for us. Guys, I just stopped myself. I'm like devouring this. This is actually so good. Guys, we're dying at this vlog. <laughs> It's so good that I got everything out and made it again, guys. I'm telling you. Dom and I are fighting, so I put this song on so she would be mad at me. Imagine this. I, this is my entry song, Walking Into Skeleton. Wow. That just felt right. That felt right. That felt like what needed to happen for now. This. To get on with our day. We're going to go to Starbucks, get our first red cups of the season, and we're going to brainstorm um, career stuff because we have literally no idea what we're doing. So, sounds like a good idea. Red cup season. Red cup season. Also, guys, by the way, I ordered a chocolate brown love sack for right here. And today, actually on my to-do list, I'm going to get a bedless fireplace and then cover... You know what? I actually... This thing is in marble, but I can't because the course is like marble. So like, what do I do? Because I'm gonna get a bedless fireplace. You need to get like a black bedless fireplace. I don't want black. Why? Hmm. Like ideally, if I would have done this to the way that like I really wanted it, not just like resale value, I would have done like light tan modern cabinets in a really busy quartz or marble countertop, like yeah. black, way deeper. Um, but now I don't know because I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I have to figure that out though. I do need to get a bed this fireplace. And then this chair will go over here. The love sack will go there. But it's going to be nice because this couch isn't that big. So for entertaining, we can like move the love sack over here, um, which is like really necessary. Especially also, we need to, we maybe should have a pregame here on Friday. Because everyone keeps asking, the boys have asked to see the rooftop. Yeah, that could be fun. We'll see, I just got my house clean, so. Anyways, I'm gonna clean up the breakfast mess and then we're gonna go to Starbucks, so. Ta-ta, everyone. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. We fully went to the Starbucks at Knox Henderson. The vibes were just off there. We didn't order, we got up and left. And now we're at our favorite Starbucks in Highland Park Village, so. Um, let the street lost and if you are in a if you're in a toxic situation leave. Yeah, like you just got to you get, just got to get up and go to GTFO mm -hmm. Here we are Thank you I should have been at Starbucks. We've actually got a lot done. I have the whole vlog edited Oh, oh Dom, you look so happy. I mean, it's we're just of, deep in thought. I'm in deep in thought I realize when I look in like the backgrounds of like when I'm in videos and stuff. It's like I'm I can't multitask. Like, that's a thing with, like, where Kenzie and I differ. Is Kenzie can, like, she's having a conversation. She's texting the president. She's kissing babies and shaking hands. I'm, like, very one thing at a time. So, if I'm, like, thinking about something, I also can't. Do you get what I mean? Yes, no, I forgot. Um. Yes. But I'm not sad. That's the other thing. I have a very sad face. No, honestly, it was just that look. I don't oh, think that you do. I think sometimes I look very Some sad. people literally stop you in public and say you're like the warmest person they've ever been around. That's what I smile. It's <laughs> sort of like that. <laughs> okay. Making bacon shrap rim. 
What? Bacon wrapped shrimp. I already made the sauce, so these are about to go in the oven. I think for like. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday. Last night we hung out um, with some friends at my house, or a friend at my house. I got a ton of DMs that there was a Casey Taylor Swift Soul Cycle class this morning at seven. So here I am, 6:50 a.m. I immediately signed up. Obviously, I had to go to that. So I went to head to class. I kind of miss when I would do like 7 a.m. workouts every day. That was just a really good way to start my day. I've been really off my like workout game lately besides like going on long walks, but like I normally go to a class and go do a bunch of stuff. So I'm trying to switch it up and I've been thinking I want to start incorporating again like Megan Rube and Melissa with health. I really love those workouts and they're super fun. Keeping the walks in because the walks are good for me and also I have dogs so like I don't really have a choice anyways. Um, and then might get back and do more Pilates classes because those are my favorite. Soul cycle I absolutely love. Like I really, really do. Pilates just works best for like me and my body and I don't know what it is about it. Ooh, guys, that was so fun. They played all too well and it was 7 a.m. and I almost cried. So anyways, going home to shower. <laughs> Guys, we are back again at Starbucks. Dom and I are fighting again, but I got home, I showered, I'm in a very cozy outfit. Here she is. Don't you say Dom and I are fighting well, we, again. We are fighting again, so. Well, because maybe you make, you were funny with your comments. <laughs> I don't know, my hair looks extra blonde today though. <laughs> Okay, well, we're getting like healthy holiday drinks. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you remember in the last vlog clip when you were basically summoning my like ex boyfriends? Or not the last vlog clip, but like one of the last vlogs? Yeah. Yeah. It good. worked. It, it actually really did. Let me Wait, find out. It actually it really did. did. Wait. Like every possible one. You're a witch, Dom. Wait, holy dude, my dude, my manifestation that day, that video was so funny. That yeah, we that's true. And we ran into your exes, and we ha we've been having so much fun in the club. That is, yeah, that is actually very true. Everything's come to pass. But I wanted to say, so I was texting Maddie last night, my sister, and she was talking about something. I was like, oh my god, yesterday we like kind of ran into my ex boyfriend or an ex boyfriend of mine, and I, I like honestly, okay. I was just thinking about this as I told Maddie because I forgot that it even happened. Like, you know that, I don't know how to describe it. Like this will, you know when you're dating someone and you know that the end is coming and that the end should come and that you actually don't want to be with them. Yeah. But you're like afraid more of the change. You're more afraid of like the change in your life than you are afraid of losing that person. Yeah. So I think that's kind of where I was at. And then I was also thinking, I mean, it still is like break up, like you're so sad. So whatever about it, whatever. Yeah. And then it's like so insane to see life, like a, however long later. And one, I'm a completely different person. I think honestly during that relationship though, I was a completely different person, not because of the relationship, but just like so many factors. I would also never, I mean like less, there's been a lot of lessons learned. I would never recommend making any life decision or starting a relationship like months after losing a loved one. I think that that is not a good Just idea. any At emotional heightened time. Like anytime your emotions are heightened, yeah. like you should never like step into anything, I you, think. I agree. And I was just like dumb even the other day. I was like, that was like the weirdest thing thing for you when you think about it now and I'm like yeah but I was just in such a different state that I just I don't know but it was really crazy to think about one how much you just like I literally don't care in the slightest and then also in like the nice and most respectful way possible like in just like a healthy way but also it's crazy because like at one point you think you're gonna be like so upset over this person and blah 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 whatever fill in the blanks i think i'm supposed to go right you look here um and then there really truly comes a day where you just don't care yeah it's a really beautiful thing like not that that day didn't come like a year ago but it is i was just thinking like when i texted my sister i was like oh yeah i forgot because she was, like, asking something. And, like, I literally didn't think about it the entire... Like, normally I feel like if I were to run into... If, if I were to run into other boys, I would have... It would be, like, in every single group chat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
And I just like forgot. Yeah. And just like didn't care. Like you were more freaked out about it than I was. I was just like, this is so mother forking awkward. Yeah. I like don't even know how to proceed right now. Well, like it doesn't even need to be awkward. Like I'm not awkward about it, but yeah, I don't know. It's just so interesting growing up and also thinking about like if i'm saying this now because i know there's people who watch videos and i remember like going through breakups and like wishing people would like be more open not that i was necessarily more open but i will say like it is crazy like a year later how i'm way more like my i think i've just like come into myself this year come into my own yeah you know yeah you don't think you want to kill someone. No, I am just thinking. I'm just oh. thinking about things you're saying. Well, even just like life a year ago to life now. Like it's not yeah. it is night and day different. I would not, I would be so unhappy if my life stayed that way. Oh my gosh. Like yeah. unbelievably miserable. So miserable and it's so funny cuz like in that at during those times that's literally all you can think about, all you can dream about like what if, yes. if only just, if only just. And then I think about like all those times, like I'm like, oh my God, imagine if I stayed yeah. and didn't like leave or change my mind or what. Breakups kind of fall under like an umbrella of change. So it could be, I definitely turn too soon. <laughs> um, love that for me. Like even if it's a job you really don't like, like a college, a major, a college, a school, a friendship, a relationship, like whatever it is, and you are more afraid of the change than you are afraid of losing what actually is like supposed to yeah. matter in that situation. Leave, like it might be the most terrifying thing no, you could ever do. Do you know? But what? it will be the best thing you've ever done. It's so funny. So I recorded with um on the podcast. I recorded with Bree Springs from The Bachelorette, and we were talking about this how. It was like the best choice she ever made. Like all the best choices in her life that she ever made came from like taking risks. Like she left her dream job to like pursue love. And like even like her now boyfriend that she's with, like just everything like came from like risk, moving yeah. to New York City, all the stuff. And I was like thinking about it with her. And I was just like, dude, all the choices that I've made, like, just so many risks like not going back to school like all these things yeah. that are so like go against the grain but were like risk and honestly like ended up paying off and i think when you like put yourself kind of in that position of like taking risks but also like allowing like new things to happen for you like i i only the only time i think like if you truly believe that like that was the greatest person for you and like there's nothing that better that you can find then that's all that will like present itself to you it's like yeah there's no one better but like i just i believe that like okay if you met someone and they were great like you're just gonna get the next upgrade of that i just believe life works in upgrades yeah well even you really that's like one thing that's actually really stay consistent about your like belief system but i don't know even i mean i would say everything in my life has been upgraded like it's I don't know it's just really wild but then I think back to myself like a year and a half ago and that would have been like the worst thing that could happen yeah and like there is nothing I'm more grateful for now yeah and I'm so much happier like night and day but I also think like when you're in situations sometimes you don't realize that you're unhappy yes until you're actually happy and you look back on it. until those situations like you got taken out of those situations yeah. and you're actually like in a happy happy position, position then yeah. you're like oh my gosh I'm I'm so freaking happy that that didn't work out yeah whatever. there was something else I was thinking about another thing that my therapist always said to me during this time was like I really need you to be open to like wanting something different because even after a breakup like that was kind of the life I thought I still wanted and she was like I want you to be open to like other possibilities yeah. and other things that you might want and I was like no 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 like Lauren you don't get it like this is what I want I'm dead set there's no other way around it I know this is what it is and then oh my gosh I remember isn't that so crazy I remember I literally remember oh my gosh it's like coming back to me now uh, well that's what's been coming back to me like thinking about it honestly just in a way that I'm really proud of myself like I'm so grateful for my life and I'm so grateful that I'm not where I was 
but I remember her saying like you need to be open and then I started like spending time with other people and I was like wait a second like this is way better for me and yes. this is way more something this that is, I like, want more the vibration yeah and I think like at that time I still like was so confused about what I wanted and so it was like probably not the best time it was definitely not the best time because I didn't know what I wanted for like myself yeah and I was really all over the place but that did open up my eyes and made me realize that like that was like way more of what I wanted I don't know but just the idea also of being open to things like going a completely different way when I thought for sure like this is what I want this is what I'm gonna get that's it no ifs ands or buts whatever and now having like had another year of life and have having like another year of therapy and growing so much and like whatever there is nothing that I would want less than what I wanted a year ago like I would actually no I, I can't say that because it's like too dark but like I would just never ever 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 in a million years ever ever want that life ever ever yeah same you know yeah same like even what i first wanted or it's so funny what i thought i wanted for my life and like oh my god yeah you especially you were a lot more you were wilder than me i just wanted to suffer yeah i wanted to be unhappy for the rest of my days yeah I think that's what I wanted. but i think like that's why it's really important especially in your early sorry you guys i had something in my eye i think like in your early 20s to just don't marry anything yeah like don't be married to an idea don't be married to a job don't be married to a title just literally don't be married to anything because you just never know how your life can change and the thing is is like if you do marry like to something like you run the risk of what could happen yeah, and like that doesn't mean you can't commit to something. No, I'm it not just saying like you can like change. Your I mind. just mean just like be open. Like yeah. if you, you know, okay, like say you went to school for four years to like be in a career, and that career now is like the last thing you want to do, and then you're in panic mode because you're like, holy shit, I wasted yeah. four years, um, doing something that I didn't want to do, <laughs> um, and now you're like, what am I gonna do with your my life? Um, <laughs> Dom had like a full on mental breakdown the no. other day over her college major. <laughs> you guys, I am not kidding. I don't think Kenzie's, well, no. Kenzie's seen me down pretty bad in, in every setting. <laughs> but I, that was like the most, it came out of nowhere too. Like Kenzie was Totally normal conversation, by the Kenzie way. Kenzie was, was like, like oh. <laughs> we were talking about the like absolutely nothing that had to do with me. And I was like, yeah, so... I'm gonna work at Starbucks. Like it was just a very intense, like chill out. Um, but <laughs> I would actually be really bad at making drinks. I, I, I honestly would not be. I would be fired, dude. They would fire me, and I would be panicked the whole time. Like long nails. Anyway, sorry. What were you saying? I just mean that. I don't know. It's so funny because when I was like 18, 19, I was so dead set on who I was. And even in 20, when I was 20, I was I was like, oh, yeah, this yeah. is where I'm going. This is where I'm headed. Well, also in the environment that we were, to be fair, in the environment that we were around at that time, placed such an emphasis on like calling and whatever, which is great. But it also in turn makes you extremely like tunnel visioned. To the point where, like, you don't see you're not open reality. To, yeah, even. you don't see reality and you're not open to... Things going differently or things going a way that, like, they wouldn't team. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And it's just, like, that's... I don't know. It's so funny to me because... Yeah, it's, like, it's so beautiful now. Like, my life is... Yeah. It's We're working it out. Well, even, like, just the... I mean, the friendships that I've made or even just the ones I've already had and, like, strengthened and stuff. Like, life now, it's, like, I am... Like, obviously, there's things in my life that are not going well. Like, there's definitely, like, on one end, I think I'm really happy. On the other end, I think I'm, like, definitely still, like, going through it, like, personally. But not, like, myself, but, like, with other, yeah, other things in my life. life. But it, I don't know. It's just, like, I am so glad that. Yeah, I'm just thankful. And also, like, you just have to, like, humble yourself to the point of, like, of course I didn't know what I wanted at like 21, 22. And some people do and that's incredible. Like good for you. I would I wish. But I was one of those More, people who yeah. was so 
tunnel vision on what I thought I wanted that I was gonna miss out on every other good thing that has made me 3,000 times happier because I thought that one I thought that's what I wanted and I thought that's what I needed to want and things have just changed the other thing when you're talking about like college majors when you're in something in four years whatever like I think people will graduate college I have so many friends who are like oh my god I majored in this I hate this I'm in this career field I hate it whatever and they're like but I'm already like 25 it's like you're only 25 like you have no. so much time to change your mind like 30 35 40 it's like, like you can so, always change your mind I know it's just like so scary because it's like we also follow people on the internet who are our age but are doing like yeah. you know so it's just like it's I don't know it's like scary because you can like see everyone's life online and it's it's so it's like so hard I think that all the time I'm like oh my gosh I, or I like go out with friends who are like in whole entire careers yeah. and whatever and I'm like oh my god like what the what am I doing like what am I doing but we also had this conversation the other day I'm like you know so and so that you like are probably referring to it's like I'm really good friends with them they call me with mental breakdowns all the time like they're not like I think life is this constant cycle of looking at someone that you deem as like ahead of you and thinking like oh my god if only I was there or like they have their lives together or they're so whatever they have a career or they have whatever it is and then you think like oh I have nothing I'm so confused I'm whatever but then there's another person who's looking at you like you look at that person yeah so it's just like not yeah reality. So, yeah so you're, there's always someone like looking somewhere yeah I think life is about the risk Life's yeah. about a risk. I think that's that might be one of my. I want to just. I want to do more ballsy shit. Yeah, I want to. Maybe yeah. I'm supposed to like DM a cute boy and like that is my husband. That'd be fun. Like I think maybe that's the ballsy risk. That maybe in vlog week we'll do one a segment of like DMing cute boys. I would pay money to see you do that. Really? Yeah. But you know what you would do? You would somehow twist it into like pretending you wanted them to be on the podcast or something. No, but that's like actually that. such a good tool, by the way. No, it is such a good yeah. tool. I'm just saying that's that's how you would twist it. Well maybe I do want them on the podcast. You're such you're so fake. <gasps> um yeah. Also my YouTube views, this is another thing Dom and I are talking about. Like I just want to be I think I'm like really open on the internet, but I'm definitely not as open. Like I would never normally say like, oh we ran into my ex boyfriend, things like that, ever. Yeah. And, like, we, like, maybe make jokes about, like, other stuff. Like, guys that I've dated and, like, whatever. But, like, not any seriously. Which I think, like, on one end, that it's really important to, like, have a healthy boundary and, like, keep certain things to yourself. And I think that's great. But, like, we're, I'm in therapy still. So, like, I, I don't know how much of that's really doing yeah, for me. Yeah, it's just, like, let us, like, yeah, and, just let me use my trauma for something. But I would never, like, with... In, in other situations, I don't know if it's the fact that, like, I still, like, really respect these people and they're still in my life that I would never talk about them. Yeah. Like, if other guys or, like, that I, like, adore them, but I would never... You know what I mean? But it's, like, I'm not... I don't know. So, what was I going to say? Oh, anyways. And just, like, being open online and, like, I... I love that so much more like when you guys like leave so many comments and like so many DMs and stuff and I feel like I'm like, actually connected I don't know why I brought that up when I was talking about like YouTube views totally two different topics Oh, but just being open like my YouTube channel has done has not done this bad like I didn't really notice until two weeks ago in like probably years now that I'm looking at it So maybe we'll be hit. I'll eat. What's the word I'm looking for? You'll go viral. No I don't know. Put in the hat um quitting oh my god <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding um but with that being said what do you guys like like on my channel like what do you want me to be filming and doing and whatever i got here two weeks ago what if it's because i've been in your videos <sighs> i'm kidding no, no don't. i I'm honestly not. probably get more views you're like the favorite of vlogs Ugh, we need to go in. I have to get Botox now, guys. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to. We, we just wanted to have like a little chat. That was a twenty-minute catch-up. Just got Botox. We're actually gonna go to Lululemon. It's one of my really good friends' birthdays. Well, it's technically next week, but we're celebrating this weekend, so I wanted to get her a gift. Um. Okay. Two things. Another thing Maddie and I were talking about is that it's so crazy how you. It's never the guys that you think are going to like affect you the most that do like the guy you dated for like two years in college or whatever doesn't matter it's like the guy that like two, you met two minutes you know what i mean it's always that 
I have a theory, and I think it's because with a guy that you dated in college, you at least you saw it play out, and so you like know that it's not what you want. But I think when like something gets cut off shorter, it's like in your head all the like what ifs are like the reality when it wasn't the reality, like something like that. Yeah. We we're talking about this not that long ago, and yeah. then second, we we're listening to "Girl at Home" by Taylor Swift. If a guy, okay, like let's say hypothetically speaking, I need to get the class involved. Let's say you make out with a guy randomly somewhere and he's engaged, not even just dating, he's engaged. Do you tell the girl, and you don't know the girl, you didn't know that she existed when it happened. What do you do? Yeah. I say you tell the girl, like, of course. I'm a girl's girl though, that's a thing. Of like, course, you have to. But some people are like, oh, I don't want to get involved, but I'm like, but that you girl's have to about get to make involved. a life changing decision and marry you this have man. To be, if not, then you're, you are now a culprit in cheating. I think you're a cheater if you don't say anything. I don't think that. I think I you're think just trying so. to not get involved in drama. But no, like, but I, that's or they think it's not their place. But like, it, it literally is, couldn't be more of your place. It couldn't be more. That's what I mean. You now have. It's like, yeah. oh, I watched someone get murdered. <laughs> We're like really not dramatic here, guys. So <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Yeah, I know are you for saying. real? I would for sure, obviously, because that shows what kind of person you are. You're okay with people getting cheated on. That's literally what that no, means. No, but I understand the I understand the other side of that where people are like, it's not my place, I didn't know them, I didn't know him, whatever. I do understand that argument. However, I would always tell the girl. But that's another thing I want to talk about here today on today's channel. Like, I here today on today's channel, I don't even know. I am so like I'm for the girls. You know what I mean? Like I I'm always very weary when a girl hates every other girl or says every other girl hates her. And, like, I, there, I'm sure there are situations and things that make sense and, like, bully, whatever. But, for the most part, girl's girl, right? So, I like to live my life with that lens. And also, like, I cannot stress enough, like, how it doesn't matter if you, like, marry your best friend, the love of your life, like, how important female friendships are and, like, supporting girls and just, like, loving girls and being like a girl's girl right and I think in times like that that's why I'm like no you definitely tell the girl because I don't care if I know her or not like that's someone's best friend too you and like it's a human being like you, you have literally to. have to it's then now your social responsibility because you know before you lack knowledge but now you don't yeah true so it's now like you know if you don't then you're you're just as okay guilty. but let's say they're just dating I still yeah don't. oh my god of course that's like a no-brainer. Knox Henderson like doesn't want me to park. They don't want me to be here. They don't want anything. Oh, we should go in, guys. I ordered a love sack and I ordered a fireplace today. And like it's gonna come Monday. It might be too small. We'll see. Um, so I have two things. Whoa! Did you see Mr. Speedy Speed Speed over here? Yeah, I saw. Speedy Gonzalez over there. It was just really. Also, I hate this parking spot. This is the Starbucks that we were at yesterday that we had to leave. That ruined my life. It was just like not the right vibe that we were trying to achieve that day. To see if that's bigger, but this right here is the material I got. So it's like chocolate brown. Off to Lulu we go. Oh, whoa, I really do. I really like it here. Look at that cute bag. It is so cute. Guys, first off, this is one of my best friend's favorite white claws. I'm getting it. It's funny. But, oh my god, look who it And, oh, wait, that's so cute. We did it, Joe. <laughs> we did it, Joe. One day, you're 17. The next, you're here buying Christmas ornaments for your friend's trees and wrapping paper for your wrapping station that you're making at your house. Guys, Dom just DM'd a cute boy. He DM'd her first. He did. He did. And it was over TikTok. Yeah. So. Honestly, whoever you marry, I hope you guys meet on TikTok. Cause that's just perfect for you. <laughs> I don't even think it's Dom's about to tell me her worst date story ever that she kept a secret from everyone for like months. Like no one knows about it. No one knows. I just got comfortable. I've kept this Aritzia crew for so long, even though I'm honestly, at this point I'm over it because I've worn it so much, but it's just the perfect fit. I have it in green, which I don't like that shade of green either. Um, if you guys watch my vlogs back when I was in LA and Kate would come and visit, 
we would always wear these and we'd like look and we would look like Cosmo and Wanda. So anyways, it's 7.30. I'm gonna have the night to read. I'm at 86 of 100 books. I'm one book ahead of schedule. I'll finish another one tonight and start another one. But I'm getting so close and I'm trying to get ahead just because like obviously the holidays are gonna get crazy. It's either gonna be like no time to read at all or a lot more time. We'll see. So anyways, I'm gonna finish reading. I've been reading the like Winter in Paradise series from Elin Hildebrand. I think I only have like 20% left of this one. And then I just ordered the third one in the series. I read them pretty quickly. I like them. I'm not like obsessed, but they're definitely good. Good morning, guys. Oh, today we were filming a video where Dom does a day in my life. So I'm gonna kind of vlog, but like the whole day is a lot of it's on camera. So anyways, it's seven. We're about to go to Katie Trail. I always almost want to say Katie Trail Ice House instead of Katie Trail, which like, I don't know what this is about me, you know? Good morning, guys. Oh, today we were filming a video where Dom does a day in my life. So I'm gonna kind of vlog, but like the whole day is a lot of it's on camera. So anyways, it's seven. We're about to go to Katie Trail. I always almost want to say Katie Trail Ice House instead of Katie Trail, which like, I don't know what this is about me, you know? I'm currently making some iced coffee. Dom's taking the dogs out because she's, you know, doing a day of my life. These are not for sale, by the way. This is something that I made with a Cricut for actually a brand deal. Um, but if you guys would want like cute little to-go cups, let me know. I'm not a huge like chameleon, or not chameleon. I'm not, a, well, I guess, yeah, I'm not a huge chameleon Colbert girl, but it's organic and I need organic coffee. So if any of you guys have any better options for like a cold brew, just iced coffee, please let me know. Okay, I have my coffee here. It might not even be good. I should probably check it before we pass by Starbucks. We're going the Knox Henderson entrance for Katie Trail right now. Here we go. I'm so much happier with my Starbucks iced coffee from home. Yeah. Do you want Starbucks? No. I don't either, so I guess I'm gonna drink this. New episode with Trey Lewis is out now. It's really good. Um, he's obviously a man, but I've never <laughs> trying to say I've never met a more self-aware male in my entire life. And also, um, it's a good episode to send to a guy. Like I, I have about three or four that I could send it to. I'm not gonna think it would be very impactful. So, I think you guys should all send this episode along. If you don't know, he sings the song "Dick County Dallas." If you haven't been watching the vlogs, um, he's been talked about a lot lately because we've been with him. But, anyways. 7.30, Dom, are you ready? Let's get that bread, or what would you say? Come on, Dom, let's go. <laughs> Legit, it takes me like five years to drink this coffee, and like you don't like it, you know? We also need to get Dom a breadwinning housewife trucker. So, oh wow, this is a much better look. Guys, look, there was water damage, and it completely ruined this ottoman. Which is fine because my sister got me something else for my birthday that I'll just put in here, but here we go. Here's the actual outfit. I have an extra. I'm actually going to buy a bunch to just have at my house for my friends. Here we go. So cute. I decided that tomorrow I'm going to host a red themed pregame because tomorrow is November 12th, which is when Taylor Swift re-releases red. I'm sure every single person watching this vlog knows what I'm talking about, but very simple um besides we're gonna try to bring the projector upstairs and do like karaoke so we're gonna like set this up on the roof i just got red solo cups because we would need them and then i thought this was gonna be like a lot bigger let's see all right guys dom is cooking for our other video how do you feel it's going i'm like i don't know i think you have really high expectations of me. you're just doing a day in my life also she didn't know what a crock pot was until about two minutes ago so also, you're doing a good I job i want to say your life's hard it's actually just like standard. Like I don't do any of this. Well, the nice thing about this is that it's gonna be a bunch of different, <laughs> are you twerking? No, it's these are all fresh ingredients. Like where's the frozen stuff, you know? I don't do frozen. Yeah, because you make your, your life hard. But this is easy and it slow cooks for like eight hours. So then it's gonna be really good and then we'll have meals for tomorrow. And then lunch is gonna be so easy. It's literally one pan salmon. There you go. If you want, you could cut up the carrots to have those ready for lunch. It's already out. Have fun. <laughs> okay, guys. I've been putting it off all week. I'm going to set a timer, and I'm going to go through. Go through donations, a.k.a. the clothes that I'm giving my friends. They'll be so happy to hear this. Oh, in London. Setting a timer.
All right, did that in 18 minutes, guys. This is your sign, go clean out your closet. Coco clearly wants to come in. That's how many I have left over. I have bags for friends. Feeling very good about this. When I get new outfits today, I'm gonna actually plan out my outfits because I just, I don't know. I need to have like a styling session for myself. <laughs> guys, look how damn bad Dom is right now. <laughs> That's Hillsong playing. Yeah, you're. <laughs> Enough. The most exciting package just came in, which honestly, I don't know why I didn't immediately assume, but I didn't recognize the package, the box. It wasn't a normal Media box because these are samples. These are my first samples of the merch that's um, coming out November 18th. So I don't know when this video is going up. It could be out before, it could be out after. It's my normal material, but it is so cute. Breadwinning housewife. And then, and then, that's not it. That's not all, guys. Oh, just you wait. Just you wait. Wow. That's it. That's so sick, bro. Like, that's actually insane. Perfect. Okay, so it's in, so that means that hopefully we can shoot it tomorrow. Oh my god. I mean, this is really exciting. Finally, and the projector for the pregame tomorrow. Pretty sure that's what this is. Here we go. These are, I got two different sizes. Medium. It's too good to be true. Love this for me. All right, everyone. I hope that it's still available by the time this vlog goes up. I'll link it below. Very exciting, okay? And everyone should be very excited, and everyone should go get their own. cleaning and doing laundry. I just showered and self-tanned. I think it's like 4 p.m. I look insane. I'm gonna wash it off in the morning, but I used my favorite self-tanner. I'll link it below. It's the Ashley Graham San Tropez collab. It is the most hydrating self-tanner ever. It comes with a mitt. It's the best mitt ever. Obviously, I look like absolutely insane right now, but when I wash it off in the morning, it gives you the most natural, like beautiful glow. It's also really hydrating, and every other self-tanner is like unbelievably drying, and this one is like legitimately hydrating. So love that for me. Um yeah, I need to go do a little bit more work. Um, I'm waiting on a package of clothes to arrive. Guys, Dom is literally the most dramatic person I've ever met in my entire life. She couldn't even do it's 5:30, the video of her doing a day in my life. She ended it at 5.30 because she just like couldn't hang anymore. She was so mad. Like we like, she like actually snapped at me. Wait for it in the video. Like she was so mad. Like it was the video that almost ended our friendship. Like she was so angry. I was like, Tom, calm down. <laughs> it was like not a proud moment. Like I'm not happy that that was my, the way I reacted. I wasn't proud, but Ooh, I'm exhausted. Like, imagine it's almost is you really you really are a fucking breadwinner, dude. It's like you're a stay-at-home mom, and also yeah, my child is you. Yes, but I don't even know, man. No, dude, I, it's a lot to do. I'm telling you. But I'm even just cooking, kids. like, okay, say I wasn't here cooking three full meals a day. I just couldn't do that, and I'm proud that you do it really for my benefit it's all for you Dom I appreciate you for that Kenzie but it's like dude imagine if I had kids and I had to cook for them and then my husband come home he like my husband comes home and he's like let's get freaky let's get nasty I'm like bitch are you kidding look at me I'm t exhausted let's get freaky let's get nasty of course because you know husband and wife things but yeah look I would literally be like this He'd be like, divorce. Oh, just kidding. It's not funny. But kind of. I see how it happens now. It's an exhausting life. It makes sense to me. It does. Hey right, guys. I have finally put on my new set. Like, how cute, right? Ah! Guys, it's just so good. Anyways, I'm off to get a blowout, which works out perfectly. I wanted to get a blowout for this weekend. My hair just just wasn't eating it. Um, but since the merch came in, we're also going to shoot the merch. I'm hosting like a Taylor Swift karaoke pregame on the rooftop tonight. And then I have a friend's birthday tomorrow. So it was a perfect time. Um, and I really don't want to do my hair. 
So that's what we're doing. I self tanned last night, as you guys can see. I just washed it off, um, and then I'm gonna come home. It's like not even eight yet. I have a really appointment at 8:45. I feel like that's like super early for a blow up, but that's the only thing they had available. So we're off. Thank you. All right, guys. I just got my blowout. It looks so good. I asked her to just do a lot because I wanted to last for as long as possible. But when I go to Dry Bar, I get the Cosmo Mai Tai with a lot of volume. I naturally have like no volume in my hair. I actually really like my like natural hair, um, but I just don't have volume. So, anyways, she did a great job. I went to the Uptown location. It just feels so good to get a blowout. Like starting your day off like that. There's nothing like it. No, but he had. Look at what has happened to her, guys. Wow. Like, I cannot even just. <laughs> I have one eyebrow on right now. I'm literally. I like cannot even describe to you guys. Your hair literally looks like. So good. Thanks. Um, guys, I'm having the best day of my whole entire life. Like, nothing can break my stride today. Genuinely, best day of my life. I'm telling you right now. Guys, we just finished shooting the merch. Feeling very good about it. Um, I think we're gonna get lunch with my sister in like an hour. It's a great day. I'm having the best day of my whole life. I swear, I really am. We just stopped at Target. We had to pick up some stuff for tonight. I ordered an HDMI adapter, but it doesn't work with my laptop, so I had to get another one. Have a lip crayon thing. Dom's getting lashes. Um, I think we're getting lunch with my sister. Also, I need to stop at the liquor store. We'll do a liquor store haul. All right, guys, I'm doing a little liquor store haul. First thing we have, this is a non-alcoholic beverage. We have some Topo Chico, wait. Oh, shoot. These are Topo Chico seltzers. Well, double the fun, double the trouble. I just did it so quick. I've actually never even had these. They might, I don't know. I mean, they have mango. I mean, I feel like if we add a little fun. We just need a Topo Chico for I'll just text in the group chat, it's fine. And then, last but not least, of course, we have, oh. Hello, everyone. We have Casamigos. Bestie. So anyways, that's it. Um, I can't believe that I thought that that was, I just was in and out, you know, so quick. Life's so fun. Life's, Life's so fun. fun. Got a mini scary in the mountains. Mm -hmm. guys I'm finally ready for the night I'll show you my outfit this top is Princess Polly skirt is Princess Polly boots are Ghani this is the upstairs it's actually perfect people are coming in about 30 minutes so we have all the lights going we have the alcohol for the pregame we have red stuff like all over but honestly a lot of it's flipped so there we go just get this down a little bit got red stuff throughout red candles it looks a little um creepy up here but they're fake candles, obviously. And then we have this all over, the projector. I'll insert some fun clips, but it's gonna be so much fun. I think we have like probably 15 people coming, maybe 20. Um, so it's gonna be so fun. I'm charging my microphone downstairs. We're gonna be able to play everything up here. I mean, it's actually gonna be like a dream come true. the song but he's like real religious and he was like but I love you and he was like I just want what's best for you and all this stuff and I was just for me with my story it's really cool because here you have this song that's you know explicit and all this stuff and it's funny and it is definitely part of my personality like 